Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Basics of Nodes in Unreal Engine 4. In today's episode, I'm going to be going over the Do N node, what it is, how it works, and how you can use it in your games. So a Do N is very similar to a Do Once node, except this time it will do it a certain amount of times instead of just once. So you input a number in the N integer, and it will then execute the code out of the exit this amount of times. So N is the number of times you want it to repeat the code. So think of it as a do n amount of times node instead of just a do n, so do n amount of times. Like sometimes you might say x amount, this is instead n amount. And once it has done the code that amount of times, it will cease all further executions out of this node, so it will do it that amount of times and then it won't do anything else afterwards unless you reset it. So to reset it is the same as the do once node, you would go into the reset input node and it will then reset the amount of times you did it back to zero so it can do it again. So if you have the n as 10, it's done it 10 times, you go into the reset, it will then do it another 10 times again when you execute the do n node. So to reset it, you can do anything you want, it just has to go into the reset input. And I'll show you an example now. So for example, if we want to gradually increase our player speed, this could be a good way of doing this. So I'll give you a basic example of this. So if I set a boolean to true when we press W, so if I get a W keyboard event, off of pressed, I will set our boolean to true, which I've called walking, and then off of released, I will set this to false, like so. And if I use this in a branch off of our input axes move forward, so I hold down B, left click, get a branch, plug that into there, actually I will get a sequence like so, then one will go back into the movement input, it goes into there. The condition of this branch will be our walking boolean that we've just set here. So I'll move this down a bit to give some space. And so what this is going to do is going to do the code when we are walking. So off of this branch, off of the true, I'm going to come out and I'm going to get our do n node, like so, under the flow control there. And as the n, I'm going to put a fairly large number of 50, meaning that it's going to do this code out of the exit 50 times, and then stop. And the code I want to do is to set the max walk speed. So I'll get the character movement here, drag out and set max walk speed, plug that into the exit, like so. What I'm going to do is right click on the return value here, promote this to variable and call this speed like so and just put that there. And so what I'm doing is then setting this variable to our max walk speed. And so what I'm going to do for this max walk speed is come out of this and get a float plus a float and we're going to get our speed variable here and we're going to then increase this by 15 each time. And so this is going to increase our speed gradually up. So it's going to set our max walk speed to the speed we have plus 15 and then set this variable here so obviously we can then do this addition maths again. And so this is essentially that part done very easily, but what I want to do is move this over so I can have space to reset this. Because obviously this is then only going to do this once, so we'll only do this the first time we start walking. So to reset this, what I'm going to do is come off of false, off of this branch here, and I'm going to set our speed back to the default value that I want it at, so it can then do this again and not keep going higher up. And the default value I want it as is 400, so I'll set the speed to 400 there, and this variable I'll put to 400 as well. And then out of this set, I'll just simply go into the reset of the do n like so. So what this code will do is when we start walking, so we set the variable to true, we'll come off of here, we'll go out the branch, so when we are walking, it will get our speed like so, add 15 to it, set that as our walking speed, and then set that variable as well so we can keep increasing it, and it will do this 50 times. So 50 times it will increase our speed by 15. And then once we're finished, we stop walking, we start walking again, and then once we finish this and we stop walking, it will reset our speed back to 400, and then also reset this do n node so we can use it again. And then when we start walking again, because we have reset this, we can use it once again. So if I just compile this, save, and we can test this out, if I hit play, you see that when we start walking, we gradually increase our speed like so, and we can do this multiple times. So if we stop, we can then do this again. So every time we start walking, it will gradually increase our speed instead of just snapping from zero all the way to 600, it will go from zero gradually increasing to how we want it to be. And so you may find better ways of doing this and of course better ways of utilizing this node. However, this is just a quick example to show what it can do. And so obviously what it can do is gradually increase our speed like this as we start walking, therefore just giving this a smoother transition. So again, in summary, the do n node will execute a line of code n amount of times, which you can determine in the n integer in the node. The enter input is obviously how you want to trigger it. So for example, if you're starting to walk, it will then enter this. The n integer is the amount of times you want this code to execute. So if you want it to do it 10 times, you put the number 10 in this n slot. The reset is the condition you want to obviously reset the n integer back to zero. So it can then redo this node and all the code that comes after it. 
Otherwise, it will do this node once or n amount of times, and it won't do it ever again, obviously, unless you reset it. The counter will just give you an integer value of which n integer it is on. So if it is doing the code for the fifth time, it will output the integer 5. And finally, the exit is the line of code which you want to be executed n amount of times. So this is where you'd put the code that you want to trigger from the do n node. For example, setting our movement speed. But I think that'll be it for this video on explaining what a do n node is. I hope you understand it more now. And if you do or don't, let me know in the comments down below. And if you don't, hopefully I can help you understand a bit more and maybe explain it a bit more with some other examples as well. And so you can also put down some requests for further ones that you want down there. So I have a list of different nodes which people would want and I can then explain those in the future. So if you have some specific ones as well which you need understanding, comment them down below and I'll try my best to get around to them. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.